Okay, storm water runoff calculations. Here is the example for our problem in the PowerPoint. A developer has purchased a three acre farm in Nashville, Tennessee. He's going to take uh, and put 30,000 feet of asphalt parking lot on it. The local regulations require that the post development runoff be limited to the same amount as there is in pre development runoff for a 25 year one hour rainfall. So we're going to find the change in peak runoff. So that's the difference between pre development runoff and post development runoff. Now, here we go. You have these sheets in your package. You need to get this out. And you're going to see on here I have uh, a three acre farm. It's in Nashville, Tennessee, which is important to know that we have a 30,000 uh, and this is a square foot parking lot. And the post development has to be the same as the pre development runoff for a 25 year, one hour rainfall storm. So we're going to find the change in peak runoff. So the first thing we need to know is what is the formula, the rational formula. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to go to my formula sheet and the runoff amount or formula is right here. And I'll go back to my handwritten guy. Now I'm going to write that in. So that is rational formula is Q is equal to C F times C times I times A. And we're going to start solving for what these values are or discovering what they are using charts and stuff like that. So the first thing is the area and this is the pre-development uh, part of the equations so pre-development the area is from our problem and that is right up here it's a three acre farm so we're going to just put in three and i've already got acres written there for you now intensity and this comes from a chart from uh, nashville tennessee and it's uh, on the web, you do a Google search for precipitation frequency data server. And uh, let's see if I can show you that right now. Here we go. This is it. This is when you do that search, this is what you find. And you're going to click on the state you're in. We're in Nashville, Tennessee. So Tennessee is down here right now. And I just select that. And the next thing it says on your sheet there is it need to click on the state and change the data type to precipitation intensity. So where we're when I'm talking about that is, is right here. It says precipitation, precipitation depth. You want that to change to intensity. And that will give you the correct values. Now, the other thing that you need to do, you can see this, this crosshairs. This is going to give me the, a chart down here but it's for the wrong spot. So I'm going to move this over here to Nashville. And what happens is the chart changes. And I'm going to look up a 25 year storm. And I'm going to come down until I get to uh, where it says 60 minutes. And I read on that chart right now that it says 2.53. And by the way, just having this cursor in just a little bit different location changes this value very minutely. So I'm going to go 60 minute storm, 25 year, 60 minute storm. I'm going to use for my intensity, and this is just for consistency with the uh, PowerPoint. I'm going to use a uh, intensity of 2.5 four inches okay okay now next thing we got to calculate for c and c 
is the runoff coefficient and that is for farmland so we're going to take a look at our uh, formula sheet again and this is going to come from a column on the formula sheet i'll go back to my formula sheet right here it's going to come from this column right here called the rational method for runoff coefficients and i go down in the left hand side until i find farmland and it says categorized by use use and it's 0 0.05 to 0 0.3 now this is an average here so I'm going to take the 0 0.05 plus 0 0.3, and I'm going to divide that by 2. So let's get the calculator up here. So I'll put in uh, 0 0.05 plus 0 0.3 equals divided by 2 equals and I get 0 0.175 so I'm going to go back to my hoops go back to this and we're going to just go to two decimal places on things here so we're going to say that this is actually uh, 0 0.18 Okay, now, the next thing, we have to find out what the CF is. And this comes from our formula sheet. It's the runoff coefficient adjustment factor. And I'm going to go to that formula sheet again. And here is the runoff coefficient factor. And what you're looking for is the uh, return period, which is the number of years. Remember, we're solving for a 25-year storm. So here is 25, and that has a factor of 1.1. So we've got everything filled out on this page right now. We've got all the parts of the formula that we need to, all the parts we need to solve this uh, pre-development part of the formula right up here. So I'm going to just put this off to the side. So now I'm going to start plugging in values. So here's the formula. Uh, runoff pre is CF times C times I times A. So I'm going to start getting my values. So the first one is CF. So that is 1.1. So up here, I'm going to put in 1.1. The C value was the average of uh, farmland, and we're going to use 0 0.18, 0 0.18. Then the I is intensity, and that came from that chart that we looked at, and that's 2.54. And then the A value, which is acres, is 3. So, let's get the calculator going here. Oh, tab, here we go, oops. I get the calculator, here it is. And I'll put this back up. Now I'll get my calculator so you can see this all happening. So I'm gonna put in 1.1 plus or I'm sorry, I gotta cancel that. It's 1.1 times 0.18 times 2.54 times 3 equals. And again, we're just going to round this, and this is going to become 1.5 cubic feet per second. So this is pre-development. Next, we're gonna to need to do post-development. 